What's up guys, Steve here with Soul Lifts again and I want to talk to you today about reverse pyramid training or RPT and uh, you know a lot of people haven't heard of this particular style of training so I wanted to just uh, introduce it to you in case you hadn't heard of it. Uh, I'll start with a, a personal story. I was uh, you know working out with some uh, some friends uh, back home a couple of years ago and uh, I went into the gym and the trainer there at the gym, the resident trainer at the gym uh, named Mark came to me and asked me, uh, "Do I do I want to train for aesthetics or do I want to train for functional strength?" And and in his point was to say that you know intelligent people who train uh, want to train for functional strength over aesthetics. And at the time, uh, you know, this was before I had uh, you know switched over to my current uh, system of working out. Uh, I said, you know, aesthetics sounds uh, good to me. And you know, I didn't understand everything that was involved with that, uh, but once I did uh, understand that functional strength was really the way to go, uh, I discovered uh, the, the Lean Gains program and uh, Martin Birkin's Lean Gains program, which you can find at leangains.com. And uh, from there, I also discovered Reverse Pyramid Training, which is a, a training system that he uh, advocates. At any rate, reverse pyramid training is the opposite, basically, of, uh, of standard uh, pyramiding the weights. And if you're unfamiliar with that term, basically what it means is that you're going to start with your lowest weight being your first set, and then you're, you're going to work up, and your working sets are going to basically have progressively heavier and heavier weights. Uh, so that at the top, at your last working set, you're doing your heaviest weight at your lowest reps, uh, you know, a pyramid lower weights and higher reps, all the way up to heavier weights at uh, fewer reps. Reverse pyramid training is the opposite approach, so that your first working set is your heaviest weight at the lowest reps, and that your second set is going to be at a slightly le uh, lower weight, then your third set is going to be at a progressively lower weight than that, all the way down. Uh, of course, there are workout set, uh, warm up sets in the workout, but your first working set is going to be your heaviest weight. And the idea here is to develop strength and power and the reason why it's effective is that you haven't burnt out uh, your muscles on your first sets so with standard pyramid training if you're doing a set of 60 and then 80 and then 100 and then 120 by the time you get to 120 you've already depleted the glycogen stores in your muscles you've already burnt out the muscles you fatigued the muscles so you're not going to get as many reps at your highest weight that you otherwise uh, would have which is not going to give you that, that really good myofibular hy hypertrophy, that strength that you want to, uh, to get if you're training for, for functional strength. So what I would normally do is I would start with, uh, if I was, and I do reverse pyramid training for basically all my heavy compound movements, uh, you know, the big four lifts especially, that would be uh, bench press, uh, deadlift squats, and, and overhead presses, is I'm going to start with a few warm-up sets. So, for example, if you, if you check out some of my other videos, you might see me doing uh, bench presses. And I'll start out with a set of uh, 60 kilograms for five. So, you know, for me, this is a, a warm-up weight, and uh, five reps is, you know, a, a small amount of what I could do as a, a maximum rep range at that rate, or that weight, if that was my first set. Uh, so I might move from there to a set of 80 kilos for three reps, 100 kilos for two or three reps, and then maybe one rep at 120. And I'll count those all as my workout set, or warm-up sets for my workout. The next set that I'll do is my first working set, and that's going to be, uh, let's say, 130 for a single rep. Now, if I had done to failure with my first uh, few sets at 60, 80, 100, and 120, I probably wouldn't have enough gas left in the tank to lift 130. Uh, but since there was just warm-up sets, uh, I can lift the 130 up and then start pyramiding down the weights. So my next set after a single rep uh, at 130 or two reps at 130 would then be to uh, do 120 and then maybe down to 100 and then maybe uh, a last working set at uh, 80 and then I'm done. So this is... Uh, to get uh, to keep the energy in your muscles that you're going to make making those big lifts, those low rep range, high weight lifts that are great for building strength. So if you're after strength gains, 
uh, you know, if you're not uh, if you're not after uh, pure aesthetics, if you're looking for strength gains, if you're looking to uh, you know to be the best version of yourself possible in terms of functional strength, try reverse pyramid training. You know, try it with all your heavy lifts, your your heavy compound movements. Uh, you can even try it with machines and, and and other isolation type exercises if you absolutely want to. But I think the the system was designed to be more effective with uh, the heavy compound movements. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions or comments on this topic, leave them below in the comment section. Uh, of course, give the video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, keep growing.